Yo, what's up? The hopeless noob was sent under the command of the Desert Fox to the Sandy and Sunny Tunisia campaign. And we have to conquer this very picturesque oasis landscape. One of the most beautiful maps in the game. Here played in conquest mode. As everyone knows, I hate conquest. But this map is so beautiful, it's actually worth playing. So let's go. Yep. So far my army already has a well-equipped APC, well-equipped engineers, assaulters, and very recently also Panzer 3 J1 with the long small cannon. Oh, let's get some quick conquest experience. Oh yes, very nice. Uh, oh, we need to we need to get the fuck out of here before we blow up. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. And our artillery strike also starts. Nice. Yeah, that's perfect. We got on the point. We kept. We got experience. We killed 20 enemies, and now we're gonna have a perfect close rally point here to the center point. Oh yes. Can we get? Ah, uh, no. We can't get free experience this time. Ah, uh, no. Finally, at least we can shoot up those Brits for driving up the tea prices because they're drinking way too much of it. Let's go. Oh, yes. Yeah, my MP40s are quite new and I don't have the upgrade technology yet, so they're... they're, they're well, they're <laughs> the recoil is high and they're missing lots of shots due to dispersion. But still, most fun SMG to play for my taste. Alright. We are, we are so far ahead now, due to a really, really perfect push. We can just push forward. What makes this map so special isn't just the extreme beauty of it. It's the fact it's basically a straight line. Oh my god, a uh, counter attack is coming. Let's throw this back. Motherfucker, take this back and this too here. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why this didn't fly away properly. Maybe I threw it in a bad angle. Well, for those who wonder how to throw these grenades back that well, check up my grenade guide and you're gonna see how you can do it very easily and precisely. Alright. Yep. This, these three objectives are almost in a straight line, so this is completely unique. No, not a single other conquest map is built this way. Meaning, if you, if you push back through, from your own basic objective to the center objective and keep a strong presence here, you basically don't need to defend your home objective anymore. So we can have some really cool fun fights here in the center. Up. Not enough stamina, for fuck's sake. Alright, let's just monkey throw all of our grenades. That's a lot of Brit bonks, come on. Uh, I expected a bunch of kills from that. Okay, sad. Well... K98K gaming it is then. They could theoretically do some smart strategic tricks and stuff like that to get to our home objective, though all of them won't succeed eventually in winning the game because they are too time inefficient. They are absolutely time inefficient. And they could come up with some scenarios like, like, like ignoring the center and focusing on their home and our home. In the end it, will, it just won't work. <laughs> Because if we have a strong grip on the center, we also have our natural spawns in A. And then it just... Well, they can capture, but they will always have extremely ine inefficient place. So yeah, the absolute mandatory point here is the B point. So just letting the, the APC stand there and build some rallies close to B, preferably between B and A, will make sure that we're gonna get a... Comfy win here. And of course, ammo boxes for all the brave fighters defending here. 
All right. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is perfect. 75 meters to B and 45 meters to A. Yeah, it doesn't get better. All right. And of course a sandbag because this one is easily shot from outside. And let's go. Oh. I think that's a Italian SMG we're hearing. Yeah, the toy gun sounds give it away. It's a shame to dis to would be a shame in real life to to injure these two and a half thousand ruins. I guess it's from the Phoenicians since they were here. Yeah, it would be a complete shame. Okay. Yeah, this dude was was <laughs> literally standing there and thinking about stuff. Yeah, I have a bad moment for that. All right. Yeah, this battlefield is great. What we need now is a bunch of sandbags, though. I try to push them back first. That was a great bombing, like 10 kills or so. Okay, now a question, where are their rally points? They don't have that many rally points, though. Up, I see sandbags next to a house. He has a rally there. Oh, yes. I don't even see that I'm shooting at some particular soldiers, but yep. I try to shoot before thinking, because if you start thinking, you just get shot first. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> okay, what's going on? They're recaping, retaking B. Uh, uh. Yeah, time to fortify this point. I was too lazy to find, wanted to push forward, but having a bunch of structures here, especially a machine gun nest, will make sure we don't lose this again. Oh yes, let's go. Oh yes. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. The machine gun nest drew too much attention. In that case... Monkey throwing grenades at this again. Yeah, my standard equipment is just normal frag grenade, explosion pack and molotov. Reason for that also explained in the grenade guide. Short summary is, if I have this distribution on every soldier, I never have to think about what grenades I have where, and I can always deal with every situation that comes up so yeah it's just a perfect average setup that makes your life much easier at all all right oh damn it these dudes know how to shoot okay huh. yeah well uh, my assaulters also know how to shoot so <laughs> let's show them yeah, I'm happy they're giving us a great fight on this center objective, it's really fun. They must have some rallies, not only in the center back, but also a uh, center left, but also on the... Oh, that was a good one. On the right side in this little forest. That's a friendly tank. The thing is, when you see a friendly tank, always start assisting him. Just protect him from enemy infantry so it doesn't get blown up and and becomes just much more effective than than a tank that has to just try to not get killed by infantry. So, tanks are meant as combined arms warfare and never as just single tanks. Perfect example for that from World War II, when 
when the IS-2 tanks, when the first IS-2 tanks came up, as the heaviest, strongest Soviet tanks, a colonel who commanded a battalion of those, and was one of the first ones to use that, them, thought they're, they're assumed wrongly, they're so strong that he doesn't need to, well, combine the IS-2 tanks with other types of units, like infantry or planes, and just rush them in. And a couple dozen of these super valuable, super new tanks got instantly destroyed by a bunch of German anti-tank guns who just, well, could easily outmaneuver them because the IS-2 tanks had no infantry support. <laughs> so, I, I'm not sure whether this colonel survived the following weeks when he had to explain to the central command what he just did. Alright, okay, now, well, I don't have any infantry support either, but we're just brave enough, we're just brave enough, let's go. Alright, now let's have our vengeance on this one rally point there that, that defeated us previously. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, well, it was a comfy game. Comfy game and one of the most beautiful maps, overall one of the best maps in the game, I would say. Yes, absolutely great. And unlike most Conquest maps, this one really allows you to enjoy and fight over the greatest objective in the center and not be forced to run around the whole map most of the time and search for enemies and stuff like that. So yeah, this map is just amazing, even in Conquest. Let me know how you like it and or what you like about this map in particular. And until next time, goodbye.